I've been watching the white collar business world spin off its axis since COVID-19 hit. Employers everywhere scrambled to send their workforce home with enough of what they needed to keep business running. I've watched with wonder and curiosity. How will this impact the way we do business going forward? I've also watched with considerable compassion, feeling the pain of people struggling to navigate the integration of their work and home life for the first time, all the while dealing with the stress of the pandemic and dealing with every member of their family being home with them. I have a unique perspective based on my own professional experiences. I've been working from home since 2001. My commute from home to office is literally a few steps downstairs into my designated workspace. For nearly 20 years, I've worked exclusively virtually. I became a virtual assistant for real estate agents before virtual assistant was a widely known term. In 2008, I developed my own program to teach other women and a couple of men how to be successful virtual assistants and virtual experts running successful businesses from their homes. And before that, I had a nearly 20 year career in corporate America. Yeah, I know I'm getting old. For all these years, I've been promoting the benefits of employees, virtual assistants, virtual experts, and freelancers working from home. I've also been listening to corporations state over and over again that there were no way they would let employees work from home. Then came COVID-19. When governors across the U.S. shut down businesses or had them send their employees home to work, if and when possible, I had the opportunity to continue business as usual. I already had a designated spot in my home without distractions, complete with an office chair, desk, and I also had my computer, internet, and software applications, which make doing my work possible, effective, and efficient. Those were already in working order. I was already familiar with how to troubleshoot my own tech issues and attend remote meetings. My schedule was established and was as flexible as needed. The format and structure for productive virtual team meetings and collaboration were already established. Measuring the success of a particular project or initiative even while segregated at home and largely working independently was not new to me and my team. I know this has not been the reality of a majority of the labor force who was sent home to work, but it could have been if companies had been proactive and forward thinking about the benefits of working remotely. Some companies didn't even have enough hardware and software to allocate to each employee. I know people who had to use their own computers or laptops to perform their work and access their company's networks. That by itself is a liability and security concern for both employer and employee. Other businesses hadn't gotten into the cloud yet, making it nearly impossible for people to perform work from home using the internet. Depending on the residing location of employees, internet connectivity might be poor. Depending on how tech techie savvy the employee is, the effectiveness of having to go 100% digital without ID, IT, the T support, has been incredibly stressful. Managers and team leaders are trying to determine how to account for their employees' time and performance when they can't see them at their desks. Employees are trying to figure out how to keep doing what they always do while feeling like they have fewer resources and less time. Plus, those employees are physically uncomfortable. People are working from kitchen tables or the couch because they had no reason to set up a workstation in their home before this. They're trying to keep children's hands or partner's hands from the family computer or laptop that is now also being used as a source of income. They're feeling isolated. Before, they were in an office with colleagues' desks surrounding them or offices lined up that they passed by regularly and popped into for a quick chat on their way to the break room for more coffee. Now they might be at home with their family or they might be home by themselves entirely. Either way, it's not the same as the shared understanding and camaraderie of the workplace that they're used to. The accidental remote worker is not loving these work conditions or circumstances. They're stressed and living in a pandemic is stressful enough. Is COVID-19 the best test case for the success of working virtually and remotely? People 
everywhere are talking about whether remote working is the way of the future. I think we have all known for a long time that it is. There have been huge increases in the number of remote workers over the last decade, but right now, because of the volume of people working from home, researchers and journalists and economists want to assess and measure the effectiveness and predict its impact on the way we do business. Except COVID-19 is not the best test case. Employees being sent home were sent home out of panic, out of required government mandates. There was no time for a plan, no concerted preparation, no reserved resources at the magnitude required to truly respond to what was being asked and having to send their workforce home while keeping business running. And while employees have been faced with overcoming the challenges of working at home for the first time, they also face fear, anxiety, and stress about the health of their families, their access to consumables that are flying off the shelves, and all of the other things they're having to learn how to do, cope with, and manage for the first time. While COVID-19 may have forced our hand to consider a new way of doing business, these are unusual and extreme circumstances. Two exceptional to be used as a benchmark for the success of the white collar workforce going virtual. However, if you remove COVID-19 from the equation and businesses are given time to appropriately plan and outfit their workforce, we can have successful virtual businesses, successful employees and contractors, and a new way of doing business that will be prepared for anything that may come in the future that none of us could ever predict. If that that happens, we'll be a little more ready and a little better off. Want to ensure that you never have to go back to an office? <laughs> Learn how to create your own successful virtual assistant and virtual expert business by watching my free webinar. All you have to do is click the link below. I'd also love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like and share a comment. Have you been working from home for the first time ever? What's it been like for you? Would you love to continue working from home? Tell me a little bit about why.